What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking the August favorites. I am so excited for this month to be over because September is my birthday month. Yay! Ooh, ooh. Party over here. Ooh, ooh. Party over there. Birthday girl, birthday girl, birthday girl gets me. <laughs> Alright, I got that on the system for now because once it is September, everybody and their mothers are going to to know that it's my birthday month because I'm going to be announcing it every single day until my birthday. I normally celebrate like the whole month, but since my husband decided that he wanted his birthday to be the same month as mine, decided, he decided. <laughs> now I have to share. So now I have to cut my month in half with him and share with him. I already have to share everything else with him. Why my birthday? If you guys want to see what products I have been liking, loving, using nonstop for the month of Augusto, all you have to do is keep watching. Oh, this new crazy mother. So, um, most of these are makeup. I don't think I have any skincare because I've already covered skincare with you guys on my other previous videos, and I don't want to bore you with more of the same. Blah 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 blah. blah. All right, so let's start with. A foundation, a le blue blue, blah blah blah, a le le blue blue blah And the foundation that I have been loving, and I'm like, yes, it's the beautiful L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Oh, I'm almost out. I'm about to go buy me a new one because it's. I've been using it nonstop. I love the finish. I love the longevity. <laughs> Not even a word. I love how it lasts all day even without setting spray. Yes, sir. I love the coverage. It's definitely medium to full and it's definitely a buildable. Now, the other foundation or BB cream, you would say, that I have been loving for when I'm lazy, and when I mean lazy, I mean every single day, and I don't wanna put makeup on, is this one right here. It is the Naked Skin, the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. And this is supposed to be sort of like a BB cream, sort of like a sheer coverage, not la foundation coverage. And I have been loving it, honestly. And I just love the fact that it's awesome. It does great for your skin as well. I've been loving this thing right here. And if you want like a sheer coverage, but at the same time, you're gonna be able to um, hide your imperfections, your beautiful imperfections, use this right here. Then for powder, um, I was using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, but <laughs> this little bit, it's like 20 something bucks and I'm like, 20 something bucks, I should definitely buy diapers, wipes, milk, cereal, and food for my little one for a whole month, okay? So I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. So I went and I kept seeing a lot of people using this translucent powder. This translucent powder is called the Air Spun Loose Face Powder. Whoa, it's alive. I feel like this powder, for some reason, my grandma used to use this powder. Like, no joke, my grandma used to use this powder. So this is a loose powder. I don't like the smell of it because again, it reminds me of my grandma's house for some reason. <laughs> um, this translucent powder is also for baking under the uh, baking your face. Um, it's translucent, so it has no color whatsoever. And the awesome thing about it is it's six bucks. Um, the only difference between this one and the secret browning powder is supposedly it has three great ingredients <laughs> to brighten your face. But other than that, I love this powder for six bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Now. For a loose powder on the high end version, I highly, highly, highly recommend the new um, Kat Von D setting powder in translucent. This is what the powder looks like. Now, this powder it's on the high end, but I definitely recommend it. Some people there's mixed reviews about the new locket and locket concealer and locket, whatever. And there's mixed reviews about it. Este, como te digo. There's people that say that it dries them up really bad and it cracks them, like it kind of looks like your makeup is cracking or whatever. I mean, again, this is just what has worked for me and what I've been loving, but I've actually been loving this freaking powder like crazy. I was like, whoa. The next thing that goes with this powder is the brush. This is their setting brush. I never gave into buying brushes that were made 
for that specific palette. Like that, like her um shade and light, her yeah, her shade and light palette. I think it's called the contour palette. Um, came with a contour brush as well. But I've never given into that trend. But I was sent, I was actually sent the cap on the um concealer and translucent powder and a couple of brushes over. And I was like, let me give it a try. And oh my god. This brush is the softest brush I have ever in my life felt. It is perfect for setting under the eyes all over the face and it picks up the powder like you actually used a damp beauty blender and picked it up. I love the freaking brush. And let me tell you something. The way your makeup comes out definitely has to do a lot with techniques and the tools that you use. So make sure that if you need to invest in Good tools you do that it's good to invest in tools to make sure your face looks like you're slaying you're slaying everybody around you okay so again this is the setting powder brush by Kat Von D then the other one from the same family because I have to say whoa what is going on it's the Kat Von D locket concealer but I have to say something oh <sighs> amazing like amazing but I have my holy grail one right here which is my H Rewind but this thing like highlights hides stays in place like yeah girl I locked it I got you go on about today and slay because I gotcha so if you have really dark under eyes I really recommend that concealer it just stays in place all day um the next thing about is my my bronzer, I think I spoke about it, but I just wanted to put it in your face again. And is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Bronzed. I just think it's not, it's not the perfect shade to contour because it's a little bit on the orangey side as the bronzer. It's not as, as grayish of undertone as the Hoola bronzer, but it's definitely, I've been loving it. I wear it on top of the Hoola bronzer. I hit pan on it and I'm about to cry. I hit pan on it and I wear it on top of the bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit and wear on the temples of my face and a little bit on my neck just to bring warmth into my face. And I just think it's the perfect matte bronzer. Yes, sir. For um, highlight, I have been obsessing over the Jaclyn Hill and Becca. I'm sorry that I'm bringing something that is no longer available, but I just really wanted to let you guys know. You guys have asked me what highlight I've been using, and it is this. I actually been missing, mixing, missing. I've actually been mixing um, the Prosecco Pop and the uh, Champagne Pop together, and I have been creating my highlight because I just want my highlights. I just want my highlight to bring brightness into your life when you see me walking like whoa yes girl yes <laughs> for eyes i have three shadows and they're all nude sorry but they're not matte i just blubbered you don't need to see that but they're not matte eyeshadow so don't be mad at me um the first one i was sent over this package which i have to show you guys because i am obsessed with like it. So I was sent this package over by L'Oreal um, and I went in, I was like, oh, look at the shadows. I personally never have liked like the shadows from L'Oreal or Maybelline or Revlon. All my shadows are actually high end, but I said, let me give it a try. <laughs> and I found my new baby. This one here is called the Badour Charn. Look at these colors. Then the one that I'm wearing on my lid right now, I don't know if you guys can really see it, is the Color Tattoo by 24 Hour Eyeshadow. And this is by, who is this by? Maybelline, right? May <laughs> this is my babe. This is the Maybelline Color 24 Hour Tattoo. And it's in the color Back to the Broom. Back to the Bronze. Back to the Bronze. It's like a bronze color, copper color, I would say. It's like a shimmery copper color right here. I am loving this color. Like, <sighs> I've never worn dark shadows on my lid. And lately, I'm like, bam, give it to me. Then the other one that I've actually been wearing on my lid is the NYX 
liquid gold it's literally that it's a very very wet shadow i would say is actually by wetting your um just spray a little bit of setting spray onto your brush onto your shade shading brush and um then you pack it on i think that's like the best way you can get product onto your eyelid for my eyes there's all the three things i've been loving i'm gonna run through them quick the other thing i've been loving is the nyx matte liquid liner it's just a regular liquid liner i have been loving this thing it glides on very good um and it definitely is very matte it actually replaced my nyc um liquid liner because it's that good it's really really black and it's really matte and for mascara i think Honestly, mascara-wise, Pacifica is amazing for mascara. So if you haven't tried it, you should try it. This is the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. And the awesome thing about this mascara is that you get two applications in one. What do I mean by that? When the one is long, as you can see, you get length. And you twist this part over here of the, of the wand. And then you get it shorter and you get this for volume. I absolutely been loving this mascara. For eyebrows, eyebrows, I have been obsessing over the the, uh, the Benefit brow pencil, goof proof brow pencil pencil because its angle it makes it a lot more easier for you to apply on your um, eyebrows. And ladies, I have been loving this. Like I'm about to cry once I run out. And the other thing that I have been loving and I tried is the Smashbox Brow Tech Shaping Powder. Oh my god. This thing is like if you would wear a liquid liner, but it's a powder. And you just pretty much apply it. And I use this to pretty much fill in my eyebrows pretty much in the beginning. And just around it just to pretty much fill in and I just love it and for lips I only have two lip products that I wanted to share with you that are new that I have been using lately a lot and the first one is the Kylie cosmetic metal matte lipstick in color here here I never can get that right here and then the other one is the one I'm, I'm wearing you guys every time I wear you guys ask me what it is and it's the um, Gerard cosmetic hydro matte liquid lipstick in the color Ice Mocha. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. And that's it. We have concluded. We have come to the end of this August favorites. I told you it wasn't like a lot of products, but these products have been my staple when it comes to making doing my makeup this month, and I have been loving it. So I'm gonna list all the products down below. And as usual, let me know what products you have been loving on the description box below. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.